and uh, in today's video session we will start with string and it is uh, the starting of unit 4 or part 4 of this course along with the string we will also explore the different types of methods the excessive uh, methods we can apply over a string uh, we will also see what kind of operation we can perform over a string and many more things related to string we are going to explore so without any further ado let me start so this the string in a scala behaves uh, you know similar to the java string and in the string is immutable object in scala so what it means to be a immutable object if a um, if an object is mutable, I'm talking about the mutable, mutable objects are prone to change, you can change them. So if you make changes in those objects, new memory will not be created, right? And that the same change will take place in the same memory. But if an object is immutable, so even if you make the change in that object, the another memory for that object will be created and the change will take place to the new new memory created by the compiler or your operating system so in a scala string is immutable it means if you want to make change in a string even though you are referring to the same string it would be a new object because you have made the changes in this string okay so your computer your compiler your os will track off all these things so as it is mentioned that using where str and i have mentioned it is a string right there is another way to mention a string use colon and then use a string after the str whatever the name you choose for your string you can mention the type after colon there is a method length if you apply this method over a string str is a string mentioned over here and it will re return the number of characters in the string it means it would return the length okay uh, First, we will discuss all these methods theoretically, and then I have a program uh, written for each and everything what we are going to discuss in this lecture, and we will explore this through the coding as well. Okay, there is a concatenation of a string, so we we have three ways to concatenate. Direct, there is a direct way. Simply uh, choose different strings like hello, and then choose plus, and then the different string, and then plus. So you can the compiler would concatenate all these strings all together so the output of the third one would be hello world the second approach is you use a string my name is let's say and then use concat concatenate not concatenate concat which is the short form and then the another string you pass inside this concat method this second approach and the first approach uh, you know both are the same it just you have initialize this string one and string two earlier okay and you can directly apply these strings over here as well so these are three ways to apply concatenate method over a string to add some other string uh, there is a uh, creation of format uh, string it means uh, uh, you can decide okay what kind of values your paragraph or your message would have according to the integer the float or the string itself so as you can see there is a well x which is saying there are some books okay the number of books and the cost of each book is is in the float this d is actually the integer and by the author author is sorry the author okay so this percentile s would show you that okay there would be some string attached to after author okay and then you can apply you can use these d f and s as a variable different variables okay like y is 15 it is integer z is the cost it is float and the string is the change's name and by using format x dot format so i am formatting x okay then it means x dot format i can apply all these value sequentially so if i am passing the by y at first then this value will be replaced this value will be replaced after y and this s will be replaced according to the str okay so there is a format you can create a format okay you can pass the values using the x dot format x is the string and then you are calling a format method you pass the value which will be replaced in the string x and then you are printing the value of after you know formatting the string there are two uh, interpolation uh, 
S interpolator and the second one is the raw interpolator. We will discuss one by one. So in S interpolator, as you can see here, we have two variables x and y. Okay. Is this string one is actually by using dollar. Okay. If you use simply dollar, it will replace x and y with just one condition. If you have appended small s before the string itself. So if you have appended s then the value of this dollar x will be 20 okay this dollar y will be 10 and this would perform the computation 10 plus 20 30 so this will be replaced by 30 but in this statement even though we have used the dollar sign but we have not used this s smallest before the string this statement will be printed as it is but this statement due to s appended before the starting of the string will give you the output after replacing those variables you know with the actual values so if i run this program uh, string one would print this string as it is without replacing x and y and if i print this str2 it will re return me the string after replacing x and y everywhere even though that there was dollar sign in both of the string but there, there was s appended only in one string so make sure if you are using s interpolator you always make sure to add s before the string okay so there is a this is a, another way to use values in a string okay as you can see simply writing dollar sign is not enough if you do not add s at the start okay so s at the start is mandatory raw interpolator is also same as s instead of s you write raw but what is the you know main important difference between s interpolator and raw interpolator you see through an example okay i am using s before the string as you can see in println okay i am using the string over here result this new line a new line b and i am using s here i am using raw okay r a w raw as you can see the output of this program would be slash and a slash and a so it means whatsoever you write in the string will be considered as a part of the string even though it is slash n it is slash t and whatever the escaping character you are going to use they all will be printed accordingly okay as it is they will be printed but in case of s if you are using escaping characters like slash n slash t then the meaning of those will be replaced according to their values if slash n it means new line you should create a new line so after even a result there is a new line before b there is a new line that's why result and in the new line there is a a then in the new line there is a b okay so it means if you are using s then the escaping character will be executed but in case of raw raw interpolator everything you are going to use in the string will be same as it is and will not be executed even though you are using the escaping characters okay so this is the major difference uh, although the use of uh, both raw and string is the same you have to use dollar uh, you have to use s before uh, you know the string and again in the raw you have to use the raw before the string okay so this is uh, this is about the string the length the concatenation how to use format method with the string how to use s interpolator and how to use raw interpolator there are some other important methods as well like i have mentioned over here there is a care character right so you pass the index you have created an array and then you are passing an index and it will return you the character at that index uh, this one thing is a string another string you are passing some another string into a compare to okay and it will return you the integer out of that it will compare your string okay there is a string concatenate that we have already used the string copy of function is you pass a character array and it will convert this array into a string that is the main use of that the index of or you are passing as you can see you are passing int of ch okay so you are passing the integer it means you are passing the character and it will give you the index of that character okay uh, you are passing the string and 
substring okay and it will give you the index of the starting of that substring hence we have used if you pass if you use two lowercase and if you use two uppercase it will convert your string into lowercase and the uppercase accordingly so this is just theoretical we will also we are going to uh, work on the these methods individually in our lab practical so there will be lab practicals i'm going to discuss later on after this lectures but first of all let's execute let's uh, you know have a code of this what we have uh, discussed as, uh, as a theory okay in this lecture let's discuss it in a you know more practical way so let me show you okay so as you can see uh, you know there is a demo uh, object in that there is a main method so i have mentioned this this is how you define a string so this is simple okay so it will print you the value of a string now there is a uh, replace method okay in a string and instead of h i am replacing replacing it with j but the thing is even if you use replace and you are mentioning the same string by str str is hello world and after replacing it become hello world but this str would be referencing to the new memory because in it in scala the string is immutable okay that is what i have mentioned here strings are immutable in scala if you make changes in the string the new string will be created so i hope this is clear uh, the length thing is simply use the string and call this method it will return the number of characters in the string so as in this example we have 5 6 7 and again 7 i think 12 13 would come as answer now we have two strings we want to concatenate so we have three ways to concatenate you use a string one concat and then string two it will return you the string and you can print it another way is you directly use a string and then use concat and then pass another string directly this is the simplest way simply add up all the strings you have and it will return you the string so we have three ways to concatenate uh, two strings uh, using a format method okay there is a format method for x x is a string so i am replacing by z and str3 str3 is the james lauren so this value will be replaced by 15 because we are passing by at the start z at the second place so this value f will be replaced by the float value and this s will be replaced by the james lauren so this will return you this x with replaced values if you want to use s interpolator I, I mentioned that if you are not using s then this statement will be printed as it is if you are using s with dollar sign then the values will be replaced and the output of this string 2 would be the string with the replaced values so the sum of 10 and 20 would be 30 so this type of result would come in case of raw interpolator the same string you have mentioned even though you are using escaping characters still those escaping character would be included in the output but in case of s interpolator the the escaping characters whether it is new line or you know you are using slash t or any other escaping character will be executed by the compiler okay the meaning will be replaced but in case of raw they will be same as it is and will be behaved as a single character for this is that is string okay and uh, you know based on uh, these uh, different methods with what we have discussed i have uploaded a practical okay in which you have to use these all these methods okay and you have to perform five set size six tasks for this practical okay so you will be able to get those practical from the model itself okay and the lab task would be like this you have to compare two strings okay using the compare to method okay you see this compare to method would return something in an integer and you have to understand what it would return so in this compare to one string we will pass here and one string you have to use before the compare to so it would be like this str1 dot compare two and then you pass the str2 and it would return if the strings are equal then it would return a certain value and you have to check whether it is zero or non zero okay and according to that you have to say the okay the, the both the strings are same 
then you have to use the upper case string to lower case it means you have to use both of these methods okay to convert a string to lower and upper case to the index of so index of example would be like this let's say you have a string one okay let's say you have uh gosh then you have to apply index of and then you pass uh, the i want to find uh, the index of h so it would return 0 1 2 3 4 so the output of this would be 4 okay something wrong this is wrong something this would be character okay because we are passing the character now let's come to the index of substring so this method is actually to find out the substring so if i have the same thing index of in that scenario we have to pass the sh okay so in this case it would find the substring wherever it would find the index so it would find sh at 0 1 2 3 so the output of this would be 3 so in that case find the index of a character in a string this you have to use and for finding the substring you have to use the one creating a uh, create a char array and store it into the string so you have to use this copy value of a character you have to pass the character array over here and it will return you the string okay so this is how you are supposed to do your task these tasks are uploaded over the uh, Moodle you will be able to get the link uh, to upload where to upload uh, your these tasks or the Moodle itself so this is all for today if you have any doubt you may comment down below to this video or you may you know you may contact me individually okay so this is all for today and thank you so much guys and